All right, y'all, welcome back. Thanks for watching, man. I was just thinking about one of the watches that I hate. And it's got to be the green Rolex. It has to be the green Submariner, like the Hulk. So I remember I made a video after the Pepsi came out, the Pepsi uh, GMT with that Jubilee bracelet. And I was talking about how I hated that. And there's been another watch. This is it that I was just thinking about. People are going crazy over this watch, but I don't get it. I mean, this watch was a dog. It was a shop window Rolex. I got a video. I'll put a card up showing this watch sitting in the window. Like, nobody wanted the green Submariner because it's like, it's a silly watch. It's a silly watch. Like, let's just think about this. A green watch itself is very limiting. If you're going to a funeral, you can't wear a green Submariner. I mean, you can. You're going to look stupid. Let's say you're going to like a business meeting or a job interview. As a man, you're probably going to be wearing a blue suit or a gray suit or something else like that. With a green Submariner on. Come on, man. You know, it just... Unless you already just have a large collection of other watches and this is just something that, you know, I'm a, I'm going to wear this every so often. Because I kind of see it as like a watch you could probably wear maybe... Maybe one day out of the week on the weekend or something because it's not going to match. The only thing green matches with is earth colors or black. So if you're if you're me and your skin is brown, you're good. It's always going to match with what it is you have on. And if you don't even know about matching and matching your clothes, then you got bigger problems. The green Submariner in general, in general, I'm going to be careful here, in general. If you're not one of those person that has an extensive collection of watches, if you're just a regular guy, you're not really doing it really big time money. I mean, the Green Submariner says a lot about a person. It says, like, this is a person who really wants to get a lot of attention. So they're looking for something that is going to separate themselves from the pack. They kind of, like, overreached and got the green one. This is a person who's probably, like, insecure mainly. Because if you are relying on your watches to get attention, that tells me that you probably don't know how to get people's attention otherwise. So going down that vein, I mean, this is probably somebody who is like impulsive. Because if you buy a green Submariner, a green watch, a solid green, you know, I'm not talking about green accent. I'm talking about full green $10,000 watch. It tells me that you didn't really think that much about it. You, you, it was, a, it was like an impulse buy, or you saw it on Instagram and it looked cool, and you didn't think about, okay, when am I actually gonna wear this? And this is probably somebody who is either like overweight or not very handsome, but they probably have a lot of money, and they're not really the most stylish person, probably the green Submariner type of person. It's kind of like the person that buys like that that all red. Um, Ublo that came out, which I love that watch. That all red Ublo, you wear that. That's just an ultimate flex. That can't be your only watch. It can't even be like one of three. That's probably like one of ten. That's why I think the Green Submariner, the Hulk, is a silly watch. But hey, if money's no object, it's a perfect way to show that look, money's no object for me. I can spend ten ten thousand on a green watch. It's nothing and only wear it once a week. So that's just my take. I'll be back on the next video. Thanks for watching.